probably not morning for you and it's really not morning for me it's it's noon um <laughs> feels like morning though I wanted to give a big thank you to my friend Megan Megan is actually going to be starting editing my videos um she has been such a great help and she's so sweet so I will leave her tag somewhere so you guys can have access to her pages and all her amazing work so just wanted to start out with that but overall, today's video is going to be about hacks on Instagram stories, particularly um, different things in terms of how to add ombre tags, how to add multiple images without using any outside apps like Layout by Instagram, um, and then different things from the Jiffy aspect of Instagram that people don't utilize as much as it probably should. So with that, I want to start. Um, again by I want to start I don't know how many times I'm gonna say I want to start anyways I just want to say with this video I just want to make it really clear how important it is for me to emphasize the creative aspect of stories and emphasizing how it's only about creativity I think it's really important to remember that on Instagram people including myself like to make things you know look grander than they are don't take it too seriously this is all for fun this isn't how can I up my game to get more followers whatever for me this is just stuff I have picked up through my job actually and for those of you that don't know I work for the associated students um, at my university and I run the Instagram so I actually do all of the posts on stories on timeline I guess you could say that's my credibility but without further ado let's start our neighbor's gardeners just decided that they were gonna start mowing the lawn so I have to agree. This is my phone. I like to keep it as clean as I can. So the three things that we are going to talk about, oh my god, I'm going to start talking louder because they're getting really loud. Megan, I'm sorry in advance for having you edit this. This is, this is loud. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Is it on? It's on. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open up my Instagram here. Uh, Ava Jewel's favorite YouTuber. Anyways, so this is my room, I, I tried cleaning it before I started this. I don't know why, because you guys can't even see my room. Um, okay, so we're just gonna take a picture right here. And we're gonna start going through the steps of how to do gradient text. I like spacing out my ladders. I think it makes them look a little more aesthetically pleasing. I also like blowing them up just for this purpose, just because I feel like it makes it easier for me to be able to do the ombre text. I'm telling you now, every other video you're gonna watch on Instagram is gonna, or on YouTube, my bad, if you look up how to do the gradient text, is gonna make it look so easy. And it's not, it's really hard. It takes me, we'll see if I can get this on the first try for this video. So what you're supposed to do is select the whole word, so have it completely highlighted. So it's moving this back and forth while also moving the color. So the idea is that you're, as you're moving it, the color is moving with it, so that way it creates the ombre gradient effect, whatever. So you're going to start with one color. I'm actually going to start with the orange. Um, so you're going to hold on the color to open up this cool color bar. As you can see, the letters are changing color. So as you are holding with one thumb <laughs> um, on the color, you are going to grab the cursor and slowly move it. So that's the thing, if you saw how quickly it got gradient and then it went just to the whole color, it's knowing when to stop and picking up your thumb before it does that. So let's try that again. Yeah, so that's as good as I'm going to leave it right now just because I don't want to show how many times I'm probably going to mess up on this. Actually, no, let's just do one more. Let's just, oh my god. They stopped lawn mowing and now they're back at it. I mean, props to them, it's hot. It is hot, but... Maybe I should close my window. You know, I'm just gonna... And look at that, my phone died in the screen recording right again. What follows is a brief construction montage. There we go. Okay. Given the first three letters are the same color, it's still pretty ombre to me. So let's see if I can, yeah, you guys can see that a little more there. So that's how you do the ombre text. If it's better than mine, 
good for you because I still struggle with it. I hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. The next one we are going to be doing um, multiple images. <laughs> How do I almost forget it? It's going to be multiple images on um, stories. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy paste this and I will show you guys where I got a little template like this. So let's say you want to start picking an image that you want to set as your background. You can either do this or directly pull it up from Instagram to make it your whole background or do it in this next way that I'm going to show. Honestly, this is way easier. So what I'm going to do is I want this background and then the image that I previously showed you, so the yellow one with the Polaroid cutouts. So I copied and pasted that photo, or I copied that photo and what I'm going to do is paste it. So I have it here. It's a little busy, but it's fun. Okay. So I have all the photos copied here, so now it's going to be putting in those photos. And basically it's just a game of copying and pasting. So here is me and my friend Vanessa, pre-COVID. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, oh it just came up. So I don't know if you guys saw that really quickly, it was for a split second. Sometimes Instagram picks up that you've copied and pasted a photo and it'll show as add sticker. If that comes up, hit add sticker, it's the same thing. Um, However, another thing I must note is instead of tapping on the image um, to bring up paste, touch on the text bar and hit paste from there because sometimes you might mess up um, the layout of your photos and sometimes it moves it or pushes things back, so just to make it less tricky. So there is one. That one doesn't really fit. So next time, make sure your photo fits. Um, and I'll use this photo of me and my friend Micah. Again, base. How rude. <laughs> so make sure you just center it and just have it in a way where you can just pop these pictures right back up. <laughs> so one thing that I use religiously is Pinterest. So if you don't have me on Pinterest to add my Pinterest, I got a lot of interesting stuff on there. Okay, so I have a board called IG Inspo. This kind of shows you different ways you can put your text. Um, if maybe that's a video y'all want, let me know. I wasn't really going to talk about how to draw, doodle, whatever. This was just more simple things on Instagram. Alrighty, so I just get my images directly from um, Pinterest. So you can just literally copy paste this and just slap photos right on top of it. Um, I think that's one of the easiest ways to do it without having to pay, what is this? Yeah, Kodak Porta, you have to pay for Kodak Porta in order to get um, that filter for the film, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's how you can get it for free if you didn't know. So when you're looking on Jiffy, let's just, let's just do it here. So you have all these trending GIFs that are here. Um, some of them, personally in my taste, aren't things that I would use or would go with the aesthetic I like using on my feed. Um, however, these are cute. Oh, that B one's cute. Um, but they're just not personally what I would use. And then when you search, you look up cute. Again, not something I would use. However, this is where Pinterest comes to play. So a lot of creators, whether they're bloggers, YouTube personalities, um, influencers on Instagram have their own GIFs that people don't tend to know about unless they're within that fan base. So for example, we have one from Rorodinar. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's how I pronounce it. But there's a super cute little watermelon one. Um, let's see if it comes up when you look up watermelon. Because I don't think I've ever seen that come up. Yeah. It doesn't. I'm not seeing it here. Yeah, it's not here. So it's an example like that where you have cuter things that might go with your vibe or might match it more than what Instagram is providing um, for you to use for your feed. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you guys like these different tips and tricks that I used, maybe they'll help you out. Also another thing that I have started on my Instagram is the hashtag Liz's Latest, so that is Liz S Latest altogether. 
So if maybe you guys use one of these, make sure to hashtag so I can see it and maybe I will post it to my story. I don't know, we'll see if people even do it. People probably will. Um, <laughs> make sure to like this video if you like it. Um, if not like it anyways. So, yeah.